Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500 E-mini futures daily chart. And what we're seeing is, you know, we're seeing a break of the Friday low. We, uh, we saw a move below, which was 69.75. We've seen two moves down towards S1, which is 2064.33 today. It's trying to build a little bit of a base there. Um, I've tried along against that. We'll see how that works out. Um, the interesting thing is that at this point, we're getting back into a sell rallies market. Uh, it's very difficult for me to see how we don't, at a minimum, test the purple line there, the 200-day exponential moving average. And you'll recall the week of July the 6th, that was when the, you know, the bears had five days in a row to try to take that out, and they weren't able to do it. Um, on a trip back down to test initially the 200-day and to retest the support area in the 30s, that's an area that this time around the bears pretty much would have to break. If they create that much of a floor, that much of a you know support floor on that much of a longer term time frame that's the kind of thing that the dip buyers come in and buy and keep buying and that's how you end up with you know massive rallies off off of the floor I'm expecting a bounce today could be tomorrow early this week but that bounce is a sell so I mean you can trade the bounce I think the most responsible way to trade the bounce is to try to find a higher low versus whatever the low of the moment is and ride that up as far as you feel comfortable. But you need to take profits along the way and you need to understand that you are buying a bounce in a market that wants to trade below the middle band on the daily chart and that those rallies tend to be sells. That's the, that's the much higher probability outcome. And it's just when everybody gets really giddy about a bear market rally that's about when the trap door opens so just keep that in the back of your mind um, I'm out of my shorts at this point I will be pretty patient getting back into them I'm gonna make the market prove itself uh, on a bounce that the that the dip buyers have not you know taken back control of the market if we get a very weak bounce this morning certainly if we can't get over the monthly pivot at 2074 half then I, I'll be short this market much earlier than I expect to be. Uh, but, you know, if it can't take out a key area uh, like that, then, you know, you have, to, you have to take the market, you know, you have to take what the market is giving you. And at this point, it would be, you know, at that point, it would be another down day. So just keep your options open. Um, don't get too bearish. I don't like, you know, I don't like shorting in the hole. Shorting in the hole, you know, buying, you know, selling lows has been really the only guaranteed loser in this market for the last you know three or four years you really can't point to me an area where if you if you sold uh, you sold lows that you know three or four days later you would be anything but down because this market does bounce violently so if you want to get short the market and you're flat I think you need to wait for a bounce um, if you're long that's okay you need to take profits along the way you have to keep a type stop and, and you know use size and risk responsibly Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. We've got a lot of new people starting. It's a good time to start. You can learn along uh, with them. And I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.